Hey, I'm Liv, and today we're gonna do this look in 10 minutes or less. To be totally honest, it was way more, but I'm trying to learn how to talk while I actually do stuff, so if you wanna hang out for that and give this a try, then please keep watching. I'm also gonna be doing the no brand makeup tutorial. Uh, this, I watched a video by Kimberly Clark where she shared it, and I believe many other people have done it. I will share who started it down below, but this is kinda my jam. I'm not super focused on brands. I, I love color and I love stuff that works, so let's put Put some color and stuff that works on our face right now. Okay, so today we are going to do a purple and teal look and it's super simple. You can do this with two colors, you can do it with um, more tones of the same colors if you want, uh, but we're going to keep it really simple and quick. So hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Okay. So if you watch my crazy colorful video, uh, getting ready with all that glitter, that was actually last night. Um, so I'm running on like four and a half hours sleep. We went to my favorite band show, Itch.io, and it was amazing. And my makeup stayed the whole night. It was super fun. and. I am stained completely. I have pink all up and down the sides of my nose and I have glitter all over. So I felt like freshening up and feeling like a human again and just doing something fun and simple. And I saw this video by Kimberly Clark, the no brand makeup tag. And um, you know, it's something I really jive with. I know she I don't think she started it or whatever. I will list whoever did start it below. Um, but I really, I really like that because I'm not particularly brand focused and I do like to know what, we're going in with a deep purple and then we're gonna blend it out. So I do like to know what brands are because I like to know what other people have tried and what works for them. Um, let someone else be the guinea pig and and test stuff out for me sometimes. And that's why I like sharing brands here um, if there's something I like. And to be totally honest, some of the stuff that I share is, it tends to be the, the cheapest stuff um, because yeah, no kidding. When something expensive is good, it's, it's supposed to be, you expect that. Um, I would be mad if it wasn't, but when I find something that's like one or $2, then uh, I wanna share that. <laughs> I almost said a brand name. Not a good way to start this no brand brand video or no brand video. So anyways, I really like the tag and I've debated doing videos in this sort of way and I try to focus on saying use a purple or whatever as opposed to a brand. But ooh, this one is blending out everywhere. So the Ichio show. Someone, uh, someone commented on this photo that Patrick posted on Facebook, like, how do you guys have so much energy and things like that? And it, it really was a reminder to me that just people only post the exciting stuff on social media. Like no one is seeing me and him um, hobbling downstairs and sitting on the couch to watch Netflix or trying to deal with grocery shopping after driving through traffic and all that stuff. So like, Everyone has things that they expend energy on and they choose to expend energy on and um, hopefully they're the things that energize you because he and I are both super energized by this. So the Ichio show last night, um, I'm just gonna tell you guys about it. So they're a 50 plus person, sort of marching style band, sort of taiko band, Japanese taiko, beautiful. Um, experiential, experimental percussion performance. They make their own instruments in some cases and they have creepers who are um, covered and crawl around and interact with you and rabble rousers who do the same. Um, we're gonna go in with our teal shimmer. And uh, it's just, it's just the most fun. And so Patrick and I discovered them uh, 2015 I think 
and it was in this little dive bar, just tiny dive bar. And so at that time they had maybe 40 members, but like imagine a band that's 40 people in a tiny dive bar. And uh, like, that's what you'd expect the audience to be the size of. So that was how we experienced them. First off was jam packed in this tiny little place and, and sweaty and, and heaving and just so much fun. So the show last night, well, okay. So they've gotten bigger and they performed bigger venues um, and it's still amazing, but there's something about this kind of experience, um, just being jam packed in with them again, that is just so fun. I mean, I've got next day hair that went full poof ball because of that. Um, what am I doing now? What am I doing now? I think, I think I'm gonna do liner now. This is so easy, isn't it? Purple, peel, done. Oh my gosh, my hands are shaky now. So it was incredibly fun and energizing and just the way that I love to experience them. Though I love to experience them every way. Wow, it's hard to talk and do a liner. Whew. Oh, that worked. So, the first show that we went to of theirs, we weren't expecting anything, and we were just normal people dressed up like normal people. <laughs> and then Patrick found out that they were playing two weeks later in the Springs, which is where we went from Denver, so it's like just over an hour drive. And so we went, and we took these flashy light things that you put in your mouth, so that was like our first attempt at dressing up. And there were these women there who were dressed up as, just like slight dress up as like ninjas or something. And it just looks so fun. And so such, such began the combination of our dressing up and lights. And from then on, we have dressed up for every single show. They have multiple, multiple shows a year. So I'm out of state and we follow them. I know we are, we are that kind of fan. And it's so much fun. It's uh, so much to look forward to. We get to be creative every time, both with makeup and with costumes. And um, we've developed this amazing network now of other fans of Ichio and they're all so cool and so creative and so fun. I'm just gonna use a BB cream. That was too much. Let's just scoop some back. So all of them are just really awesome, cool people and I look forward to seeing these people. Um, they're the kind of people who <laughs> will dress up to go to a fun band on a Saturday night and um, so we are all getting ready for Halloween and we actually have a joint costume so this is like I don't know a group of eight people now that we're all gonna do a joint costume and we are only unified through Ichio and this is how we know each other does this count as talking about a brand if I'm babbling about my favorite band I don't know no no I'm gonna I'm gonna babble about them um, but it's so cool, and it's also cool, like even a hot liquid liner right there. Ugh, not the worst, but it looks nice otherwise, right? Nice and quick. So every time we go to a show, we meet new people who are dressing up and doing cool things, and it's just, it's just so fun. So uh, let's just see if we can get rid of that. Ugh. God, the worst. Oh, stop, stop smushing. You're messing with my timing here. Drop of liquid liner. Now we gotta blend again. So I would love to hear what things energize you. What things are you a super fan about? You know what, um, I, I'm not embarrassed about it. I love it. They're, 
There are lots of things that I get super fan about and this band is worth it and one of those things. Uh, so yeah, I would love to hear what, what things are you psyched about uh, or super fanned over. What would you camp out to get tickets for or, or whatever? It's, it's the stuff that makes life extra fun, doesn't it? All right. I look rough. <laughs> it's okay. Rough because I had a great time. I think I'm going to put some purple underneath there. Just a little on the outer third. And I'm going to clean my brush and blend it a little to the middle. Nice and soft. And I'm gonna put on some blue liner in my waterline. Ah, oh, it popped out. Oh, hey Google, stop. <laughs> that was just all a disaster. My no name liner just fell out of the thing. Where is it? Oh, be right back. So that's the tough thing about this whole no name thing is like, I wanna be able to tell you this brand has a thing that doesn't stay in well, you know? Um, but it's fine. There are a lot of brands that do cool, colorful liners and it really doesn't matter what you use. It's completely the wrong color for this, but that's fine. I think that this look would be very quick if I wasn't talking. I'm still getting used to the whole talking and doing, multitasking and, um, it's more so, I think, uh, creating a cohesive statement while doing something. That's a challenge. So, thanks for letting me practice. All right, let's put on some No Name Mascara. I do love this look, though. It's, it's fun and colorful. Where's my brand? Okay, good. So hopefully I haven't mentioned anything while I've been doing this. Oh, you know what, too, is like, Normally I do my 10 minutes just for my eyes and I was priming my eyes and doing my face and all that. So these eyes are definitely doable in 10 minutes or less. Did you ever just have one of those days? I got mascara on my cheek. I know I shouldn't touch it and I should wait for it to dry and then I could just brush it off apparently, but I never managed to do that. Ooh, maybe I can flick it off with the edge of this thingy. Uh, eh. Oh, that worked. Just pick it up with an edge. All right. Feeling a little better. Let's get some eyebrows on. It's also a little funny because I tend to use the exact same products. Like if I find something that works, I just keep using it. Uh, if I don't find something that works, then I continue to hunt for it. But when I find that, that thing, I mean, the constant quest is that holy grail item, right? And if I find it and it's cheap, I'm probably not gonna stop using it. Um, I gotta actually lean upwards here. I think probably the most challenging thing about this video is uh, trying to make sure my labels are covered. So I like this kind of thing. Do you guys like this? Do you like this no brand, not brand centered, just colors or types? All right, let's stick on a little lip tint. Definitely feeling more human. A little lip gloss just for the hell of it. And some bronzer and face stuff. That's the thing about subscription boxes too, is like half the time I don't care what the brand is. And when you get stuff in a subscription box, I can just try it and it's, yeah, it just lets me try stuff more easily. How do people with curly hair do this without getting their hair in the way and like messing up a curl? Did you ever do that? Like you're bronzing yourself and you mess up a curl? <laughs> curly hair problems. Oh my gosh, my eyes are wrinkly. And you can tell that you're extremely tired. Let's just do some blush to get some life. Have you ever seen uh, those people when they smile while they're doing their blush 
and it makes you feel warm. And then the moment they're done, they stop smiling. It's like, oh, I, I don't know, almost like uh, I was wrong. No, you're not, you're not happy. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's kind of weird, but almost like that uh, when you see someone waving, you wave back at them and then you look behind you and they're waving at someone else. I'm like, oh, I just got robbed of that happiness. Super weird, but let me know if I'm not alone. Or if I'm weird, you can let me know if I'm weird. I'm weird. Awesome, dig it, all done, nice and quick. Okay, I say nice and quick. My camera says 19 minutes. I think this would be a quick look if I wasn't so chatty. I will learn how to be chatty and fast at the same time when we're actually gonna do like full on time videos. I probably won't talk as much, but we'll see. Maybe I'll learn. All right, so here's the look. Teal and purple, colors that I really love. I feel much better after a night out and a little more put together. And I'm just gonna sit around my house and do nothing and edit videos and have a great time doing it. Maybe watch Chernobyl. Does that count as a brand? Oh, see, if there are things I like or I'm interested in, I can't help sharing about them. Anyways, if, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you try out this look, if you have things you love, if you have anything to share about the random stuff that I was talking about, please do share it down below and uh, do stick around and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out.